What is going on you guys and welcome back to Audit Rewind. This is the host commentator and I hope you guys are having a good day. Please hit subscribe if you're new and join us and leave a like on today's video. So today's lineup is particularly good. If you're a regular viewer here at Audit Rewind, you'll know that when I say that, I seriously mean it. Today we're starting with an audit by Good Guy Activism. I'm going to be reacting to this video. The behavior of the cops in this precinct is unbelievable. They genuinely act like they're scared of him filming and they don't actually want to be held accountable for whatever it was they were talking about. The reactions by these cops shows a lot about how they were thinking in the moment when they saw good guy holding his camera. Let's dive straight into this video and actually see what happens. I'm just waiting my time. Sir, no recordings. You have to step outside with your phone. You can't record. You can't record in here, sir. Boss man, you can't record. I need a CCRB campaign for him. That's fine, but you can do that outside. Can you step out? Relax, bro. Put your down, bro. You are recording. You touch me on the Don't touch me, bro. Step out. I'm talking to your sergeant. Step out. You're going to give me two seconds to step out. Step out. You are recording us right now. You touch me on the floor. I can defend myself. You have no reason to touch me. You are recording. We've warned you. Yo, I'm you touch you. Relax, bro. Relax. I can move on my own. Bro, relax, bro. I'm talking to your step sergeant. Who are you? Get off of me. Like, Where's the de-escalation? I was talking to your sergeant talk first. You can talk to my sergeant. It's a we'll public deal. I'm in a public area. I can't conduct we'll we'll business. No. We'll step outside. I'll talk to you out here. That's, that's the rules. That's the rules. It's not the rules. rules. It is the rules. You have to step outside. Touch me. I can walk on my own. All right. Once you stop touching me, I want to be able to feel like I can move on my own, not that I'm forced to do something. In a building that I pay taxes. You touching me is not reasonable. It is. You don't pay taxes. Yeah, I don't pay taxes. On, on my money? I cover section and I Tell these young overseas to relax, bro. No de escalation. The fuck? So you want to talk outside in the freezer cold? We can't, we just can't talk right here. We can talk right in here. I need your cars. Tough guy. Talk about, I'm going to give you two seconds. Who, who are you, bro? Relax. They're doing their job. They're doing I'm, exactly what they're supposed to do. And I'm addressing my government, which yeah, I have a right to they're do. They're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. I feel offended that you talk to me like I that. I understand that, but they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. They're doing, what? They're doing nothing wrong. Talk you're not like, allowed to record. Talk to me like I'm a child. So, That's no, his job. They're telling you exactly what you're supposed to do, and you're not listening. Okay, there's a certain way. You're just obeying a lawful order. It's that simple. How's it a lawful order, okay? sir? I understand. Relax. That. I understand that. Don't tell me to relax. Okay. I'm talking to him. I can't talk to three people. Relax. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. Anyways, we took I know, and, and we lost. won. No, we didn't lose. We didn't lose. lose. The law is upheld. What was the initial? That's not a law. It is a, it's it not is a, a law. rule for this command. So there's a law that we can't record in public buildings? What's the law? No, that you cannot record. The behavior of these cops so far has been absolutely diabolical. The second they saw Good Guy with the camera, they didn't even bother to pull out the ID check. They outright just went and tried to grab his camera and pull him out of the building. Not only is this unacceptable, but I think it violates his constitutional rights in my opinion. And here we have all the Christmassy decorations, as if to show a, oh, a happy place where everyone has fun and celebrates traditions. Meanwhile, they're grabbing someone's camera, a guy who's exercising his First Amendment constitutional right. Who on earth do these people think they are? This is really bad. So we're going to keep watching. And I mentioned in the past that Good Guy is one of the calmest auditors you'll ever see. He never usually actually gets angry or raises his voice, but it gets so bad that even he can't control his anger towards the end of this video. Public buildings? What's the law? No, that you cannot record in there because we have uh -huh. private information in there. All right, we discuss people's medical business and everything I'm, I'm like that. I'm pretty sure that right? the private- As per HIPAA law, you're not allowed to be in there and record it, okay? When I have prisoners in there and they discuss their medical issues with me, uh -huh. right, in front of the desk, because that's where I am. Okay, so let's go. Step out of command. I came for Now you're just playing games. Now you're just. Stop recording us and step Don't out. Don't tell me what to do. I already First of all, you can step out. You can step out. You can step out. Because I already told you this. Yes, I am real tough. Just because you don't like that I'm exercising my rights. Get out of here. Educate him that you touch those citizens unlawfully, we can defend ourselves. The f is wrong with him? Y'all real tough in that f uniform. Knowing damn well you want to touch me outside of that uniform. What's up with him, man? You asked me to leave the priest and I left. I'm on a sidewalk. Why are they still touching me? Pushing me into the street. I came here for a play for him. Now I need my complaint for him. I am. They said leave the priest. I left the priest. Why I got three people with guns still pushing me while I'm on a sidewalk? 
Cause they're fucking ego. Cause they trained y'all that the public is out to get y'all. Get out of here. What I'm doing is recording. Which I have a right to do. You wanna talk to me? That's up, bro. Now if I wanna, you touch me. Listen to me. I'ma calm down. Right. They asked me to leave the prison. I left. I'm here on the sidewalk. I got you. They're grabbing my phone, grabbing my arm. So I'm grab. Don't touch me. I got you. There's no crime. You have no reason to touch me. I got you. What can the citizens do when when the, when the police are attacking them unlawfully? We can defend ourselves with reason, within reason. How, how can I help you, right? I need CCRB can play for. Them. I need all their cards, did all their cards. Did they say they was gonna get it for you? No, they didn't. All they care about is me recording. Guys, don't memorize who you've seen in the precinct. It's public. There's no expectation yeah, of privacy, yeah, public. So it's your. So you can't say, oh, we want to protect victims. I understand that. Okay. But you can't trespass my eyes. You can't say, hey, forget everything you've seen here today. So one thing I realized is that once the cops got the auditor out of the precinct, they started acting really calm and sympathetic. Like, oh, okay, yeah. They were actually listening to what he had to say. This is really, really stupid because do they really think a guy's going to fall for this type of behavior and these tactics? Initially, they were worried of him filming, so they all started getting scared and panicked. They intimidated him and eventually got him out of the building. Then, once they're out of the building, all of a sudden they're acting like they actually care about his rights. Meanwhile, a minute earlier, they'd literally violated them in my opinion. So I'm going to leave a link down below in the description to Good Guy's channel. This guy's well worth a follow if you aren't already subscribed to him. His work's really good, but you can hear the passion and if anything, just uh, disappointment in his voice towards the end of this audit. We are coming in hot you guys, this is crazy. I said that we were seriously getting into some epic clips in today's episode, possibly the best ever on Audit Rewind, so definitely make sure you get those numbers up, drop a like, subscribe and share this video. Next we have a video by The Angry Vet, I actually recently commented on this guy's video and I also had interactions with him in the past where he actually commented on one of my old videos where I reacted to a moment from one of his clips. This guy is insanely good at auditing and I'll leave a description link for his channel down below. So in this video, cops have basically driven into each other it seems. I don't know if they were fleeing something or getting to a scene, but the angry vet is just exercising his first amendment constitutional right when all of a sudden he gets approached by cops who again have the same behavior as we saw in the first audit the cops just don't want them filming at all. This is crazy. You are out of control. You're out of control. Stop. You are out of control. Out of control. Get your supervisor here right now. You're the supervisor? Holy shit. Okay. Okay, all right. Well, you don't need to talk to me. Okay, well, then you need to listen. You don't need to talk to me like that, bro. And you're not listening. You don't need to. You told me to get on the sidewalk. I'm going to get on the sidewalk. Okay, and now I'm on now I'm on private property. Leave me alone. Leave me the alone. What's your name? My name is Corporal Kanuck. 5369. You have no business being over here. This is a crime scene. I have every business being here. Put some tape up if this is a crime scene. Well, I'd be happy to, okay? But that means you need to back up. You're in public. You can record all you want to. No, you're free to leave. Then I'm free to stay. Back up. You gotta back up. Stop. Just back up. Stop being like this, guys. You gotta back up. Stop being like this. You're free to record. Go ahead. de-escalated That's what I need you to do. You're absolutely free to record. I just need you to back up. Crazy. You got to back up. They're getting a little crazy. Okay. They were just out of my crash this Paris boy. They're just following the police. Jesus Christ. Exactly. Yeah. Listen to them. We're not trying to f cause any problems. You can absolutely record. Just, you got to back up. Is this that ordack? Active That's not ordack. No, not everyone ordack. thinks you, you get, you get, You get confused for him, though, don't you? Yeah. We're, yeah. we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> you look just like him, bro, but just a little smaller. Yeah. His, 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 I mean, uh, chasing a dirt bike and ended up getting into an accident. And that cop car right over there that flipped on its side. Cop car hit another cop car. Cop car banged into this car. 
So were the police embarrassed that this guy was filming and possibly exposing what had just happened? Cops make mistakes, they're human, and after all, some things do go wrong, but I don't know why they felt the need to be so aggressive towards the angry vet who was exercising his First Amendment constitutional right. Obviously tensions were high based off of what happened, as long as the angry vet isn't right on top of the people that have been involved or who are being arrested or seen to uh, for medical aid or whatever it is, why should he be treated like this? I could understand if the guy took a camera and literally shoved it in the face of the people, but he has stood a long way from the accident or anything that has happened and is actually still getting some pretty confrontational behavior from most of the cops in this accident. So overall, I think that the angry vet dealt with this situation pretty well because most people would have lost their, s well, lost their S a lot worse than this guy. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Please go and support his work. Who are you? Who am I? Yeah. Up next, I'm going to be reacting to a video by NorCal Copwatch. I'll leave a link down below to the original so you guys can subscribe to this channel. So in this video, I've only seen parts of it. I'm going to be reacting to the best moment and the kind of middle part of the audit. So this guy's just exercising his rights, as you guys all know, you know, the plain view doctrine, First Amendment constitutional right, freedom of press. And uh, he kind of gets to the attention of some of these employees in the lobby. And uh, they ask him, who are you? What are you doing? They get kind of suspicious and they're like, we didn't get any press people logged in for this afternoon. And soon some supervisors and higher ranking people of this building basically find out about this auditor in the lobby. And that's when all, all hell starts to break loose. And eventually the cops are called towards the end. I'm not going to give away anything else that happens. Keep watching and you'll see. Who are you? Who am I? Yeah. I am a member of the public. Oh, okay. It's not open to the public? No. Are you sure? Yeah. You're sure about that? Yeah. This is not open to the public? No. Did you? There's this thing right there that says sign in. Yeah. So this is not open to the public? Can I ask you or No, it's not open to the public unless you're, you're here to you're see You're not some... lying, are you? You're not lying, are you? What's your name? Yeah, like there's a sign-in sheet and everything. Open to the public. Yeah, this little part right here is Cool, open yeah, she said it wasn't. Okay. Oh, wait, well, if you want to come in, if you have a reason to be here. I do. you have some business to be here. Well, what does this guy do? State what that is? Or? What is this guy doing? Oh, nothing, I'm just... Doing the same thing you're yeah, doing. Yeah, I'm just making sure that everything's documented, you know. Yeah. Do you work here? I, I do, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. So, What's your name? you don't have a... Do it because... No, well, I, don't, this part I, don't need, I don't need any help right now. For okay, then at that point. But when I when I want to request some records, I'll just need a rec records request form. Yeah. If you guys don't have a records request form, I could do a blank piece of paper. Can I can also it. give it to you verbally. Yeah. You know, so. Well, there's the, what records would you like? There's the sunshine. Yeah. He can use this, uh, the sun. There's actually an ordinance called the Sunshine Ordinance, mm -hmm. where you're able to go and requ uh, request any records whatsoever that are with. You know that are you know available to the public mm -hmm. uh, that the city has. I mean, we're talking you know if you want emails or you want budgeting information or anything. Well, like so that. are you are you guys aware of like the California Public Records Act? Yes, you are. So 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 I don't need to I don't need to go online. I can literally tell you what I want to request. You can either memorize it and put it in for me, or you can write it down. I'm not sure what yeah. the details. I, uh, I, I, know, I, I know what the details are. Well, that's great, but yeah. I mean, just because you say that's what the details yeah. are. Let's, I'll tell you what, to... I'm going to continue doing what I was doing. You guys can go back and research it if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Well, But when I'm ready to do requests, I'll tell her and then she can come get you or she could take so, my request or whatever. At, okay. So at this point... So you're not going to? No. Well, just, just so you know, it is a law. And if you don't take my request, if I have to give it to somebody else, I will. But if you refuse me records, I will hold you accountable. Okay, so I'm feeling at this threatened point, right now. Go ahead. If you want to walk away, go for it. Why do you feel threatened? Because you're in here with a hood. So the fact that this guy points out he is wearing a hood shouldn't really be a factor in this. To me, it doesn't make any sense because by saying the guy has a, his hood up is implying that perhaps 
Well, in my opinion, it's implying that he's maybe up to no good, that he could be there to steal something, vandalize or cause issues to this business and this lobby. But maybe it's just cold outside or inside. Maybe he's got his hood up because it's comfortable or it's part of his fashion and whatever he's wearing, the outfit for the day. I don't think what that guy said made any sense, but you're bound to see now that not only are they trying to audit him back, I don't know what that's supposed to get, some kind of reaction from him or if it's supposed to like piss him off and make him annoyed, but because it's not working and this guy has a cool head, he knows his rights and he also knows the other guy has his rights to uh, exercise, but the problem is they're about to call the cops and this is the most interesting part of the whole audit, so let's get into it. For me, or you could write it down. I'm not sure what yeah. the details. I, I, uh, I, the I, I know are. what the details are. Well, that's great, but yeah. I mean, just because you say that's what the details yeah. are. That's, I'll tell you what. To... I'm gonna continue doing what I was doing. You guys can go back and research it if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Well, but when I'm ready to do requests, I'll tell her, and then she can come get you, or she could take so, my request, or whatever. At, okay. So at this point, so you're not going to. Well, just, just so you know, it is a law, and if you don't take my request, if I have to give it to somebody else, I will. But if you refuse me records, I will hold you accountable. Okay, so I'm at this point, right now, go ahead. If you want to walk away, go for it. Why do you feel threatened? Because you're in here with a hood and a oh, mask. It's you cold outside. Your name. It's cold outside. Well, we're not outside, right? Yeah. You won't tell us your name. You won't state Did you ask what me your for my specific name Did business. you ask me for my name? What is your name? Oh, I'm a private citizen. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Right? Exactly. So, um, at this point... Did it, you ask me why I'm here? At this point, what I'm going to do... Did you ask is me I'm why? Gonna ask, I have asked you why you're here. And what did I tell you? You told me that you were here for public records and... I'm going to take a look around. And you want to take a look around. Yeah. So, at this point... So, I've told you what I'm so here listen, for. listen. Listen to me. At this point... I'm going to ask you to either very specifically state what your purpose is for doing here. And if not, I'm going to ask you to leave. And if you don't want to leave, then I'm going to call the police. Do you understand me? Why would you do I'm, that? Because I am asking you to leave and you are not. But why would I have to leave? I have business okay. here. That's fine. Matthew, I have business here. Why would you call the police? But you're not stating what it is. I Did I not state what it is? He's recording. So am I. I don't, I don't believe that we heard what... I said, I'm here to take a look around, and, you and, I'm, and I'm here to take public records. No, actually, I haven't looked around. I got stopped immediately from not, her. Right. This is the public part of my... I wanted to take a look at this. I want to look at all your guys' awards on the wall. Kind of, kind of a trespasser here at 1657 Long Road. A trespasser? Yeah, I don't know what you would uh, call it. Okay. What kind of business? He just told you. Actually, Something. Question, so well, you, you, you literally you just told him. Okay. Um, uh, you literally just told him. So is there anything I can help you with? I didn't call you. Okay. Do you have any idea I can see? Huh? Do you have any ID I can see? ID, ID. ID I can see? Yeah. I don't know what that is. An ID on you. Do you have an ID on you so I can see? Oh, like identification? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I don't, I don't hand over identification. Okay, no problem. I could stay here, too. Yeah, and I advise that to him. Do you think just for everyone involved, you guys can just kind of... Get your business done together so that way you can go your way and then they can go their way just so that way there's no issues going forward. I don't I don't have an issue. I'm just here to take a look around in all the publicly accessible areas. Mm -hmm. I'm getting, gathering content for my story. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to submit my public records request and I'm gone. There okay. was no need to call you. I don't know why he called you. Does that sound like a plan? Just he he wanted he wanted me. He, he thought that you were going to come here. Excuse me, officer. He he thought you were going to come here and physically remove me or ID me. And well, I think that's actually what he was trying to achieve, in my opinion. When the auditor says this to the cop, I think the cop's done a great job at staying impartial and kind of honoring his oath. He did ask for the ID at the beginning, but I guess people say, oh, that's just part of the process. It's how they're trained at police academy. Well, I would say that overall, these guys didn't get what they wanted. They wanted the cops to kick the guy out, in my opinion, from what I can see. And the cop basically just turned up and said, hey, just finish your business. They don't want you going around. They feel like you're harassing or annoying. And then the guy basically said, yeah, I'm just going to go around filming all the publicly accessible areas. 
take down some video and stuff and ask some questions, maybe get some FOIA requests, etc. And the two guys that uh, work there looked a bit lost, like, oh crap, what do we do now? Like, he, the cop's actually not enforcing what we want him to. So I, I enjoyed this audit overall. And if you guys want to support this channel, I'll leave a link down below to it in the description box. Trash, bro. Bye -bye. So I haven't featured this auditor in a very long time. This is the channel Jay's Surreal Cam. Those of you who have been in the auditing community for a long time will know what's happened surrounding this channel. I don't really want to go into it as I just want to honor the family and just keep it private from now on really. But I will leave a link down below to this channel. And one thing I also had to say is this is almost as triggering as the first clip. I mean, look at, just look at the expression on this cop's face. He is ready for some, like, beef. Like, he is ready to go. In my opinion, this cop is just angry. Angry as hell. So, you know, this auditor is just exercising his rights. He's in public. There's, like, a news station doing some, like, camera work. He's, like, filming them as a joke, but he's still exercising his rights, so it's not really a joke. And the cops basically see him doing it, and... The intimidation is crazy on this one. Take a look. I'm going to react to what happens. You're trash, bro. Bye -bye. Trash. You're trash. What am I doing? I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. Get back to work. Get back to work. Get away from me, bro. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I'm talking. I know. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. Of course I know the laws. All right. So why are you, in, why are you intimidating me? To the, to, to the reporter? No, to the reporter? No, reporter? All right, listen. I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to interact with you no more. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Is it illegal? 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 I'm in the. I'm right here talking. I'm not even yelling, dude. Right now I am. Freedom of expression. What's your name and badge number? What is your name and badge number? All right, get back to work. Bye bye. You're dismissed. You're not gonna intimidate me. Kick rocks. Bye. Bye, bro. Bye. Have a nice day, dude. Have a bad day. How's that? Scumbag. Hey, put your seatbelt on, man. Put your seatbelt, officer safety. Scumbags, all of you are scumbags, bro. All you gotta do is be quiet. Like you, what's your name and badge number, sir? That's it, just give me your name and badge number. So I think this third cop is acting really weird. He's more like passive than the others. The first two cops that were on those quad bike things were like really angry for whatever reason. I don't know if they just dealt with someone crazy and like arrested them or had a bit of a like wrestle with someone. Seemed like their hormones were just pumping like crazy and they were just looking to basically get into something. That's just my visual kind of opinion that I interpreted this as. But yeah, let's keep watching. There's a part two. So let's see how this third cop goes down. Well, technically the woman driving without her seatbelt on was a third cop. But this will just class the other guy as a third cop. Can you get away from me a little bit? No, what shit, but why do you, you want to kiss me? You want to kiss me? All right, then just give me your name and badge number, dude. That's it. You don't have to come over here and put your nasty smelling breath on me. You don't have to put your nasty breath on me, dude. All right, then bye bye. Get away. I just needed your badge number, dude. I'm on a street in the sidewalk recording. Freedom of expression. All right, that's it, of course. So why did your gang members come over here and try to intimidate me? Your gang members, oh, you're blind? Your glasses aren't working? Now you guys got me pissed. Now you guys got me pissed. Yeah, I'm in a protest, right? Is this a protest, right? All right, then. Your gang members are scumbags, dude. Bye-bye. Get away. Look, I, I, I know you do. I didn't say that. And I have a right to express myself. Y yes, I'd go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. I can tell you whatever the f I want, bro. That's how it works here, bro. When you guys try to intimidate me and intimidate my freedom, listen. You guys are intimidating my freedom, dude. Listen, I'm just telling you. You're a captain. You're a captain. I am doing my thing. I am doing. Oh, leave me alone. You're a crybaby, bro. Get out of here. Go kick rocks. You got sandals. All right. You're annoying too, bro. You're annoying for infringing on my rights. 
Get away from me, bro. Get away from me. Get away from me. Bye bye. It's called a protest. Get out of here. Get out. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Look at this guy again. Look at this guy again. Leave me alone, dude. I, I don't know. I don't want fame. I want you guys to leave me alone, dude. That's it. I'm going to say I want. All right. So the quad bike cops were pretty angry to say the least. I guess they were on the lookout for some crazy people. I don't know if it was a festival going on or some kind of carnival, but I just got that vibe. It's a super busy street. Looks like they're filming something, uh, either for like interviews or some kind of series maybe. But usually to do that kind of stuff, they like shut entire roads and they buy actors to do the series or episodes for TV shows. So this cop here, I can't, I can't stop talking about this interaction. He was so angry. I don't know if he knew this auditor and was acting this way because he was just angry with him. But overall, he was very, very kind of intimidating. His manner came off. This cop wasn't as bad, but he was also kind of intimidating in my opinion. And then the third cop seemed super passive as if he just had no idea what was even going on in the situation. <laughs> Anyway, I'll leave a link down below to this channel. Please subscribe and show your support to it. And also subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Leave a like today and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. This is Audit Rewind and we have reached the end of today's episode. I hope you're all well. Stay safe out there and peace out.